friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be talking to you about some of the best universities in the United States for aerospace engineering. But before we begin as usual, please make sure you subscribe if you're not already and like this video if you find it helpful. In this video, the rating process that you'll be seeing is extremely similar to the same process that I used when I was trying to pick a university for myself. The list that I used when I was looking for universities is definitely much longer than the list of universities you're going to see in this video, but the process was the same. A disclaimer that the list of universities you'll be seeing um, is definitely not the only universities that offer aerospace engineering in the United States, but there are so many universities I can't possibly um, include them in this video. So I only included five of the best or what is known to be the best universities um, in this state. Now the standards for what is the best in uh, universities is definitely skewed. Like there's, like there's no universal standard that everyone uses to rank universities. So you have to keep that in mind when you're searching for universities online. Um, when it comes to deciding what university is the best for you, that definitely depends on your own standards. So yeah, just keep that in mind. So the main criteria that I personally think are important when picking a university for aerospace engineering is, is this college accredited by the Engineering uh, Accredit Accreditation Commission or otherwise known as ABET. So ABET is um, an accreditation uh, commission that goes all over the United States and they um, they pretty much like test and accredit universities that they are following certain criteria when it comes to their students in engineering. It's not only aerospace, it's a commission that accredits like across engineering and most of the time the majority of universities in the United States are accredited by ABAT so that shouldn't be an issue but it is something to keep in mind when you're uh, applying for universities here in the United States. Second thing that's important to me is are the classes offered in certain university make the clear distinction between aeronautics and astronautics. Now a lot of universities in the United States only have aerospace. They do not make a clear distinction between the two and that's fine. It's probably best because you get a little bit of both worlds. But for me personally, I did want to make sure that it's a university that made the clear distinction that they have classes specifically for astronautics and that you don't necessarily have to be aeronautics focused. Third is, are the classes offered for astronautics are like a good mix? Uh, it kind of goes with the last point that I made, but if classes offered are both aeronautics and astronautics, do they have a good amount of classes for astronautics? And are they um, inclusive enough of the topics that are imp important for astronautics? That, that is one of the points that's quite important to me. And last is tuition. Tuition is very, very important. I know a lot of people don't think about that when they're applying to universities, but a lot of universities are very uh, expensive and you have to keep that in mind when you're applying because, I mean, we don't really want to graduate with a lot of debt. Uh, it's just not really um, practical. So yeah, tuition for me is very, very important. So you don't necessarily have to follow the same standards that I followed. Um, these are standards that I find important for me. You definitely, it, it is up to you to come up with your own criteria on what is important to you. For example, for me, since I am more interested in astronautics, it was very important for me to find a university that had classes that were specific uh, to astronautics. But if you're interested in aeronautics, then it would be the opposite for you. You might find other universities more important or more interesting to you than I did. And some people don't have issue with tuition. Um, it's either your parents are able to help you, so that might not be one of the things you consider or if you're willing to uh, move states or if you're in state, out of state. So there's many criteria you have to keep in mind when you're looking for your university. But to me, I think these are general criteria that you have to keep in mind when you're, you're uh, searching for a university. But after all, um, you do have to decide on what is best for you specifically. It's just because it depends on people. What is best for me doesn't necessarily mean it's best for you. So for all the criteria that I, that I listed earlier, I did rate them from 1 to 5, with 5 being the highest um, score. Okay, so I wrote down the universities that I um, 
put together. So as I said, there's five of them. The first university that I picked was Embry-Riddle, uh, which is a university that's very well known for its engineering program, specifically aerospace. They do have other programs in engineering, like electrical, computer science, so on and so forth. And they have two campuses, one in Arizona here in Prescott, and one in Daytona Beach, I think, in Florida. The one that I am talking about today is the Prescott campus. So for uh, the first criteria, do they have a distinction between Aero and Astro? Yes, they do. And I gave it a five star just because um, Embry-Riddle is one of the universities that um, do understand the difference between Aero and Astro and the importance of, um, I guess, the importance of being able to distinguish between the two. So that one got a five star for me. Um, is it ABAT accredited? Yes. So it got a five stars. Um, is it, are the classes very specific to Astro. So do they have a good mix of options and classes for astronautics? They actually do. They have really good uh, classes. And by the way, if you're interested to see the list of classes and the information that I'm going to talk about in this video, I will leave a list of all the universities I'm going to talk about and the links to each university in case you're interested to look into them in detail. So don't worry if I don't mention something here or I don't go through all the classes because it would be a very long video for me to talk exactly about each class. But yeah, so Embry-Riddle had a really good selection of classes for astronautics, so I gave it a five, five stars. And tuition, unfortunately, per year, tuition is about $51,538. And that is really, really expensive. Um, if you're gonna be going for four years, that will be a lot of money. So I gave it a two star just because it's tuition. So total, um, Embry-Riddle would have 17 uh, points. Okay, next university is Georgia Institute of Technology. And this university is in Atlanta, Georgia. So uh, the first criteria, is there, a different, is there a distinction between the Aero and Astro available? Um, no, they don't. The classes for uh, Georgia Institute of Technology, there is no really distinction. They just call it aerospace engineering and it's it's not like two options that you can choose. So I gave that three points for that. Um, however, it was really nice to see that they have 10 options for concentration. So they say that it's not technically specific. Um, like it's not they're, they're only suggestions. That's what it said on their website. There were suggestions and uh, concentration. Concentration. So they had, for example, aeromechanics, aircraft flight dynamics, controls, propulsion, so on and so forth. And I think it looks like those are just classes that are available that are a recommendation for you to take if you wanted to take them. So that's why I give it three instead of like a two. Um, ABAC credited, yes, so five. Uh, classes were okay, as I said, for astronautics. They had a good selection of classes, but it wasn't really the best selection or it didn't encompass everything. So I gave it a four. And tuition, it was a four. Um, because for residents um, of the of Georgia State, um, the tuition was $12,852, which is uh, only tuition. It does not include board, room, uh, and other expenses, just tuition for classes. And for non-residents, if you were not a resident of the state of Georgia, then you would have to pay $33,964. So the price is pretty common. This is usually how much it costs to go to a state public um, university. So I give it a four out of five. Okay, next is MIT, so Massachusetts Institute of Technology, which is in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Um, MIT is really known for engineering or for tech overall, so it is one of the best universities here in the United States. Um, unfortunately, they didn't really have a clear distinction between Aero and Astro, so I gave it a 3 out of 5. Yes, it is ABAT accredited, so it gets a 5. Um, classes, Astro was extremely lacking, unfortunately, although I thought it was not going to be the case, so I gave it only 2 out of 5. And tuition, um, I gave it 20, uh, for tuition a year was $26,725 and that excludes any fees again, it's only for tuition. Um, so that's actually pretty pricey, so I gave it a 2 out of 5. And the total for Massachusetts, or for MIT, was 12 points out of 20. 
Okay, next is Purdue University. Purdue University is one of the best universities as well for engineering overall. I work with a lot of people that went to Purdue um, and they always talk really well about it. So um, I looked at their um, map for aerospace engineering and they have uh, a clear distinction between aero and astro, so that was great. So I gave it five points. And by the way, Purdue is in Lafayette, uh, Indiana. Um, it is ABET accredited, so five points. Classes, they had a really, really good selection, by the way. Um, they had options for aero, aerospace systems design, ast astrodynamics, space application, uh, autonomy and control, props, structure, materials. They had really good selection for astronautics, so I gave it four out of five. And tuition in state was $12,042, out of state was $30,844. And I gave it a four out of five for that, just because it's actually pretty good. It's pretty standard for the United States. So the total for Purdue was 18 points. So it got the highest points so far, yes. Lastly is Stanford University in Stanford, California. So Stanford is really known for a lot of things, for their med school and their engineering school. However, unfortunately, um, they're, we'll get to that, but um, they did have a clear distinction between Aero and Astro. Actually, they call their department Aeronautics and Astronautics College, uh, which is nice. That means they do have a distinction between the two. So that got five stars. Was it ABAT accredited? Yes. So I got five stars classes. Unfortunately, the astronautic side was very lacking. There was more aero and less astro, so I gave it a two out of five. And the average tuition cost per year was, this is the most expensive one. It was $74,570, sorry, $74,570. So very, very, very expensive. So for the tuition, I only gave it a one out of five. Um, so the total for Stanford was 13 points. So as you can see from the rating that I went through, the best universities that for me, I would personally think are the best are Purdue, since it got 18 points, um, and Embry-Riddle. Now Embry-Riddle is very expensive too. Um, Purdue is not as expensive, but if you're wondering, hey, well, Abir, you went to Arizona State, why wasn't Arizona State part of this list? And although by whatever standards the internet has, Arizona State University is not considered the best in aerospace engineering, to me it was the best option uh, just because I was already in Arizona State, uh, in, in Arizona, and um, it was very important for me to make sure that I get in-state tuition just because I, it's just ridiculous to me to be paying $74,000 a year on uh, tuition it's just impossible i just didn't really make sense for me to graduate with like 200k in debt the main criteria that i went by when i was picking arizona state university was that one i was going to be a um, in-state tuition so it was going to be much cheaper and two is it's not really bad like the university actually had distinctions between aerospace and astronautics so that was a gr great thing um the only i guess classes for astronautics at arizona state they weren't that great, like there wasn't a, a large option, but it was still there. So that kind of had to compromise in that way. So if you ask me personally, I really don't think it's important where you go university wise, um, as long as you pick something that is right for you. So yeah, I mean, this video that I made, it was just kind of to show you what kind of options you had and what process to think about when you're picking universities. Um, other than that, I you kind of have to take all of this information with a grain of salt just because all of this was on the internet. These are, there was like no actual criteria on how they decided on what universities are the best for aerospace engineering. But yeah, um, when you're picking your own universities, just make sure you write down all your options, write down your criteria and what you find, what is the most important to you. For example, for me it was tuition. Um, and yeah, just make your decisions that way. All right, I think that was all for today. Let me know down below what you guys think. Let me know what, what, like how you de decided on your, on your university, what was important to you when you um, were applying for colleges. And yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful um, and I will see you next time. Bye.